Welcome to QRS tutorial, how to use the new scheduler version 2 on how to assign a CRID checklist. This tutorial is to show you the three ways to create an assignment for a CRID checklist. You can create a, an assignment from the scheduler, from the CRID list, and also from the CRID details. So we're going to show you how to do that. Once you have your dashboard open, you simply go to uh, schedule to create an assignment from the scheduler and you click on all schedules and once you're in the scheduler it's going to default to today's date so what you can do is you can then choose the time you want to create the assignment uh, for this purpose we'll choose 1 p.m. and you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference in the screen uh, details for the new assignment uh, that you have a primary assignee and second secondary assignees. This is because now we have the ability to create teams. That was in the last video on how to create a team and uh, assign a color to that team. So you'll notice that um, we've chosen 1 p.m. to it's uh, defaulted for one hour from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. It's the current date and the end date is today. Um, you can create an all-day event. Or, and you can also still have the assignments repeat daily, weekly, monthly. Um, so we'll choose a primary assignment for this purpose. And we're going to choose Team A. And you'll notice that right away the team members appear. And at any time you can uncheck somebody from this team. It doesn't affect the actual team. It just says for this particular assignment, that these team members uh, are not available. You can also add a secondary team member. So for example, if Jed's not available to uh, go on this particular day, but he's part of this team always, you can then just replace him, for example, with Brian. Now when you create this assignment, once it's created, each of these team members will receive their automated email saying that they have a new assignment and they'll also be able to see these assignments in their um, mobile app in assignments. And to learn how to use those assignments, you can go to our YouTube video on our YouTube channel and see how to use the uh, either the Android app or the Apple app. So once you have your uh, team members assigned, the next step is to choose a client for this assignment. Uh, and then you'll notice here that this particular client has three different sites that we manage. So remember, a client can have multiple sites. You don't have to create a client and a site for each site that they have. You can manage them all with one client and multiple sites. So we'll choose a site. This particular client also has three CRIDs. So we'll choose one. Uh, you'll notice that the time in here is defaulted to one hour. And you'll see that it defaults to one hour here from the time we chose to start. And now we can choose uh, to add a quick note if we'd like. So here we'll just add a quick note, check and collect the mail. So remember, anywhere you see the little question mark uh, throughout the software, if you just hover your mouse over it, it'll give you an explanation of what this box is asking you to do or what information is required or how it works or functions. So next we just click Create. Uh, once it's created, now you'll see that uh, this particular team is uh, highlighted in red. And you'll always notice that the inside of the box will always be, uh, initially it'll be green. And green indicates that this is a sign, but it hasn't been done yet. Remember that it'll turn purple once the assignment is underway. And it'll turn gray when the assignment is completed. So at any time, we can come back click on the box and we can change the time for example we may want to have this job go a little bit longer so we'll make it till 3 p.m. and we'll save the changes and uh, only this instance it'll ask you and prompt you so we've created our first assignment using the scheduler um, and now we can just quickly come up to the month view and you'll see that today's date this assignment is here now, what we can do is we can also have this assignment uh, repeat. So we can say that we want this assignment to repeat weekly, and we can give it an end date. So, for example, if um, 
we'll set this up for uh, May the 1st. Uh, sorry, April the 1st. And now if we save, it'll say this and following. And you'll notice that uh, it now will show up as a weekly assignment all the way down. And if we scroll forward to March, you'll see that it shows up at the same time. So let's say that you uh, can't make it on the 19th. So what we do is we can just simply drag and drop the assignment to the 20th. And that's the day we change. And we can also say that, you know, I'm not able to do this, so I'm going to do this at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, sorry, we'll change it. Yeah, we'll change 2 p.m. And we'll have to change the end date to 3 p.m. Whoops. And now we've created the change the schedule. Nothing else has changed in here. Uh, you can change the secondary assignee and the team members. Again, we just save. And we're only going to say this instance because we don't want to change the rest of them that follow. And you'll see that this one is changed and it's there. So at any time, we can come back to these. Now, if once we've got the assignment in here, we can easily go back to our dashboard. And you'll notice that current assignments only show up on the map for the current day that you're going to be performing the, the assignment. You'll notice on the map, there's two markers. We already had an assignment on, on the map for this particular day. And you'll notice that they're the same, same color circling the uh, assignment. And again, green means assigned, purple means in progress, and gray means completed. Now remember, these assignments, if you're using the mobile apps and you have the communication turned off, for example, if you're not live, and you're using it without uh, using your data plan, um, and you may not have Wi-Fi, these won't change color until they're completed and the report is sent. So it's um, all relied on the mobile app if these will change colors and whether you have a signal or not. So that's how to create an assignment using the scheduler. And at any time, you can come to the map, cl click on it, uh, for example, first, if we just hover our mouse over, it'll tell us what address it has, what uh, town, and also the CRID name, and who's assigned to it. So you see Team A. Next, if we just click on it, we can see that Team A, if we click on Team A, we can see what their color is, who's assigned to that, and if we go back to this view, we can click on the site, and it'll take us to the site details. Um, for this particular assignment. And if we go back, you can actually view the complete assignment in here and you can see the map and the details, who's assigned to it, just by simply uh, clicking on the box on the uh, marker in the map. And that's how your assignments work. Now, <clears throat> remember, in the uh, iOS app, when you, when you receive an assignment, you have to accept the assignment and that way, when you scan the QR code, it'll uh, show as a scheduled visit. If you forget to click on the uh, accept this assignment, then it'll show up as an unscheduled visit. So that's just a little tip. So next, we're going to show you how to do it from the CRID list. So to assign the CRID from the CRID checklist, you simply choose CRIDs, all CRIDs, and the list will pop up of all of your CRIDs. Now, we can search for a CRID. Basically, we can search for it through a filter. So I can say I want Dan. I want, uh, I'm going to choose Coldwater Road. Um, and I, I'm not going to worry about the zone. This is more important here, these two. And I'm going to filter. And you'll see that uh, I have two different CRIDs for this. Now, all I want to do now is just simply assign. I come over here to the right, and I click on the Assign button. And that brings me right away to the scheduler. And you'll notice all the information, the details show up. Um, it shows the assignee. And I can also search for another crit if I want, if that's the wrong one. It automatically defaulted to HomeWatch. 
it's in zone five. And now I just simply choose, I, I can select a reporter. Um, and so I'm going to select myself. And next, I just simply drag it down to a time in the future. Um, I'll choose 5 p.m. today. Now, the information already pops in for the client site and CRID. Uh, it comes up with the primary assignee. And now I have to choose whether I, I, I accept this time, whether I want it to repeat, or if I want to choose a secondary assignee. Um, I can also change this to a team member. And I can also put a comment in here. And I simply create the assignment. Next, uh, if I want to come back and edit this assignment, I can come into my week view which I'm in now, sorry, I've come into my month view, and uh, I can see that, you know, this assignment was here at 5 p.m., and it's for Randy. If any time I want to change this, I can just simply change the time to 5.30 and make it a half-hour job. I save it, and it's moved to 5.30. So that's how you use the uh, schedule a job an assignment from directly from the uh, uh, CRID list. And the, the last way to do it is if we go back to all CRIDs and we choose a CRID from the list um, that we want to uh, assign. So we click on the CRID list and we go. It, what it does is it takes us to the CRID preview. And now there's one other way you can do that. You can come over here and you can click on Show. And that takes you to the same page. Now this is a CRID preview. And it shows all the information uh, for this CRID assignment. And it shows all the different uh, permatasks that are attached to this original CRID. And we just simply click the Assign button. And again, the same window pops up. Uh, it takes us to a week view, so we can uh, see the full week. And again, we just choose a, a reporter. So for this one, I'll choose uh, Brian. And we'll drag Brian down into uh, today's. We'll make Brian's for tomorrow. And we'll say at 10 AM, we'll choose Brian. You'll notice the color around is uh, green. So that distinguishes him with uh, his, his color. Um, the information automatically pops up. And again, we can just say check the mail as a comment. Now remember, these comments are quick note for CRIDs. You have three places you can put comments in that will be seen in the assignment. One is in the, in the site. The second one is in the CRID. And the third one is in the assignment. So once we're ready, we create the assignment. And you'll see it here. You can click on it. You can change it at any time. If we find we can't do it on uh, this particular day, we'll go to our month view. And we'll say that, you know, Brian can't uh, do this job on the 13th, but he can do it on the 14th. So we drag it over. Uh, then all the information pops up. It just asks you to confirm it. And you're done. You've moved his assignment. So the new scheduler is uh, functions a lot better has a lot of new features with the different colors for teams. You'll notice all the different colors circling. And if we go to the map, uh, we'd have to zoom in. I've, I've added uh, assignments. You'll see that there's two assignments here, two different colors. Once you zoom in on the map, we can even go to a satellite view. And you can see that uh, this particular job is assigned to the person, which if I hovered over Brian, that's his job. If I come over here and look at the red one and hover my mouse, this is assigned to Randy, and it's a different address. So uh, sometimes on the map, if you'll notice, as the assignments get closer, um, they, they'll blend in together. So you may have to zoom in to see your assignments. So that's how to create assignments the three different ways. One from the scheduler, directly from the CRIDs, check, uh, CRIDs list, and also directly from the actual CRID details page. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. Um, I want to thank you for choosing QRS software.
Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is where we post all the new tutorial videos and updates. And uh, we'd appreciate it if you'd like us on Facebook and Twitter. And we will see you in the next video.